Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be learning a little bit of React and we're going to start by setting up a React application. So I'm going to show you from beginning to end how to set up a, a basic React application. So the first thing that you want to do is open Visual Studio Code. That's the one that I use. You can be using a Sublime or any other um, code editor. It doesn't matter. So just open that first. So I already have like a folder on my desktop that I have created. It's an empty folder and this one is going to have the, the application. So I'm just going to open Visual Studio. I'm going to open the folder. And in here, I'm going to open a new terminal. I already have the terminal open here, but if not, you can just go here, terminal, new terminal, and then that will open a new terminal. So, so let me just make this here. Just make a full screen. So forget about that. If this is the first time that you're creating a React application and you haven't installed Node on your computer, then the first thing that you want to do is check if you have it. So just um, so if you don't have it, of course you know, and then you can just uh, follow the link in the description. You can install Node and then you can continue with the tutorial. If not, you can just issue the command Node um, dash V and that will tell you which node version you have. If you don't have any, then please install it before continuing with the tutorial. So what you want to do is, you know, uh, issue the following qu command, npx, and then create React app, and then the name of your app. So in my case, I'm just gonna, um, just gonna name a simple app. And then just press enter. If you get this message saying that you are running on a different version of node, that you need like a higher version that you need to update the node. So I wanted to walk you through all of these. That's why I haven't updated it yet. So now we're going to update it together. So you want to issue the command NVM install, and then the number in this case, node 14. Well, and before we do this, uh, let me show you how to check uh, which version of node you have. So just uh, type node and then version, and then that will give you like, um, uh, dash version and then that will give you the the version of node that you have so in my case i have 12.22.7 12 uh, so let's um now let's issue, issue the command that we're going to issue before which is uh, nvm install 14. so in my case it says that it's already installed but i wasn't using it but now i'm using it so now i can issue the command that we issued before which is npx create react app and then the name of your app and that should create the app now to wait so. for it to finalize and then you'll have it and that was pretty quick while well, it's still working so as you might notice you can see that the folder has been created and there is a package that json that was created as well which is going to have all the the node modules that we need to run our react application so let's just give it a few minutes and i'll be back once this is done all right so once it has finished you'll see that uh, they even suggest what you should do next. So here it says the CD into your app and then you should um, do npm start and it's gonna it's gonna start your app. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So just uh, CD into your app and then just issue the command npm start and that's gonna um, that's gonna start your app. So the first time that you do this it takes a few minutes but then um, you'll see that the browser will come up on the screen. All right, so the application has launched. You can find a lo local host uh, port 3000 and here you can see that the um, well we have our react application so let's uh, let's just clean up our file a, a little bit so let's um, let's go into visual studio again and let's open the source folder which is uh, this is where all the files are so go to app.js and let me just uh, make this a little bit smaller so that you can see and you're gonna get all of this. Uh, let me just, uh, we don't need the logo, we don't need this. So we're just gonna delete those imports. Um, we're gonna save the application and um, we're also gonna get rid of this here. All right, and we're just gonna add like a, let's just do the traditional hello world. All right, and then just, uh, you know, command save. And that's gonna compile successfully because there is no really any errors as you can see here. Now we have Hello World 2.0 and you can see that everything changed. Um, we don't have that logo anymore. We don't have the, the home screen, uh, the React home screen, and we're still working on the local host 3000. So we're just going to leave it at this. 
uh, for the next tutorial, we're going to start uh, working with components. We're going to add our first component, which is going to be a nav bar. And we're going to do this nav bar in a bunch of different ways so that you can learn uh, all the, the ways that you can uh, create a nav bar and other components. This is the logo that we got rid of. Uh, you can just delete that file. We're not going to use it. And uh, yeah, just explore the source file a little bit and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.